In this video, I'm going to go over how to calculate the change in entropy of an isobaric process. And so isobaric means constant pressure. Constant pressure. And so on a PV diagram, a gas undergoing an isobaric process would start at, we would have, say, this is a, let me just rewrite this graph. look like oh that's still terrible one more time a bit better okay so we would have say you know pressure one from state one and we would have a gas going from state a to state B and this would be constant pressure now to calculate the change in entropy of this it depends on um, well we have to know the definition of the change in entropy, and that is delta S, where S represents entropy, is equal to delta Q over T. And this holds true for reversible reactions, reversible reactions, not irreversible reactions. And it's actually quite simple. All we have to know is what equals the change in Q. Now for an isobaric process we know that the delta Q is equal to the number of moles times the ideal gas. This is for an ideal gas. Cp times the change in temperature. Now if we wanted to take the derivative of this because these are constants, it's just a constant times the derivative, the derivative would be here and here, we get dq equals n times cp times dt. Now, if that equals dq, then we know that dq over t will equal our change in entropy. So we can rewrite this. This is delta s equals and we just substitute in what we found for the derivative of Q, which is N CP times DT over T. And what we can do here is if we integrate the DT over T, we can write delta S equals N CP times the natural log. We take the natural log, then we get natural log of T2 divided by T1. And now this can also be written as natural log of T2 minus the log of T1. And that's the same. This is the same as you know, this thing here is the same as this. And it's just the same because of logarithm rules. So overall, that is how you calculate the change in entropy of an isobaric process or constant pressure process.